In this five minute video, you'll learn how to take your scene from this to this. So when you're creating a new project in Unity Hub, you can either choose a 2D project, or you could choose the Universal Render Pipeline, which will pre-install a bunch of packages we're gonna need. But we'll assume that you just chose the regular 2D project and you already started it. So once you have your project open, I just have this scene set up here. We wanna go up to Window, Package Manager, and in the Package Manager, we wanna search for the Universal Render Pipeline, or Universal RP. So we can just select this and hit Install. Uh, it's going to take a minute, but once it's done, down in our Essence folder, we can now right-click and go to Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, and create a Pipeline Asset. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. We now want to create a 2D renderer. So once again, in our Essence folder, we right-click, go to Create, Rendering. And by the way, this Rendering tab wouldn't show up unless you installed the Universal Render Pipeline. And then we just want to select 2D Renderer. Again, I'm just going to leave it as default. You can name it whatever. We can click on our Universal Render Pipeline asset, and we can drag in our new 2D renderer data into the renderer list. And we should now have our pipeline asset ready to use in our project. So we can go to Edit, Project Settings. We'll go to Graphics. And you'll see right at the top, we have this empty slot for a render pipeline asset. So we can drag in our Universal Render Pipeline asset, and it should be ready to go. So at this point, you'll notice we're using now a 2D render pipeline, but nothing's really changed. Our sprites still look the same, nothing is visually different. We actually have to upgrade our existing project if we already have a scene created like this to use the new 2D materials that will have our sprites react to lighting. And to do that, it's pretty simple. You can go back up to the Edit tab and go down to Render Pipeline, which is now visible, and go to Universal Render Pipeline, 2D Renderer, and we want to select Upgrade Scene to 2D Renderer. Now, it is worth noting that this is a one-way process. So once you convert all your sprites to use the new 2D pipeline, you can't go back. So definitely make a copy of your project now if you're worried about this. But we'll go ahead and do it, because I'm not worried, and we'll proceed. And once it's finished, you'll notice everything has been turned to black. This is a good sign, even though it looks terrifying. You may think you just broke your project, but this is exactly what it's supposed to do. So if you wanted your project to go back to looking how it just was, the simplest way is to right click in your hierarchy and go down to Light, 2D, Global Light 2D. And you'll see that everything's back to how it looked before. And like the name suggests, this is global, right? So it impacts everything in your scene. So if you wanted to, this is a quick way to set it to like 0.5 and add like an overcast look to your scene. But we can also experiment with the other lights that are now at our disposal. I'm gonna disable this for now. We could go back down to light in 2D and add something like a point light 2D and scale up the outer radius. And you could play around with some of the settings here, but basically you could set a light around something like your player or around a flashlight or a torch or something. And you could even change the color. So if we wanted this to emit something like a yellow tint, you could go ahead and change that, you know, or any, any color really. And so if we create a point light like this and just leave it somewhere, you know, it looks kind of cool, but it doesn't really emit shadows the way we would want it to, right? Like this light's shining on this tree, but it doesn't really show any shadows being emitted from the tree. This is a really easy fix though. First we can select on our tree object and we wanna add a component. We wanna add a shadow caster 2D. And when you add it, you'll notice by default it has this big white box around the entire sprite, which sometimes works, but in this case it doesn't. I wanna shrink it down so it's just on the trunk of the tree. You can definitely play around to make it nice and clean, maybe even click in and add the branches and stuff like that. But just to show you, I'll just do the trunk for now. Once you have the box set up where you want it, we can go back to our point light 2D. And one of the options down here is shadow intensity. It goes from zero to one. And if we were to add this to say something like 0.1, you'll notice a little shadow starts to be emitted behind the tree. And if we were to crank this up to like one, you'll, it'll be really bold and looks terrible. But you'll see actually how that shape's being generated from the light. And if we move this around, you'll see how it impacts it and looks a little different. So you could set this back to something light, like 0.1. And at this stage, you could go ahead and add more shadow caster 2Ds to your different sprite objects. So we could go ahead and add a point light to our main player. We could add a few more shadow casters to some of our objects in the scene. And we could re-enable the global light 2D. Right now it's super bright, but if we change this down to something like 0.1, instead of having the sprites be pitch black where there's no light, we could have it show a little bit. So set it to like 0.1 or 0.2. And this way it just makes it more atmospheric that it's nighttime instead of it being pitch black. But again, this is more up to your game and your design. But I think this looks pretty good. We could also add post-processing to our game, which is very simple. We could simply right-click in our hierarchy and go to volume and add global volume. Where it says profile, you could go ahead and create a new one if you want. Once it's created, you can now add overrides. And we could go into the post-processing menu and add things like bloom. We could enable intensity and set this to something like 0.5. The bloom just makes your lights look a little more apparent by adding a glow to them. 
But with this, you've basically imported the foundation to set up lights in your games, so good luck. And subscribe. Thank <music> you.